Hi, my name's Kiara and I normally work at the Chiselhurst camp, but seeing as camp's not running this summer, we're doing a few activities that might be fun for you to join in. So I'm going to show you how to do a mini Olympics at home that you can either do with your parents or maybe socially distance with a friend. You could do it at a park or if you've got a garden, you can do that as well. So we're going to do a warm up, um, five activities that I have to show you and then a warm down at the end as well. So I'm just going to show you the things that I've got, but you can adapt as well according to what you have at home. So you need a tape measure, a piece of paper, an egg and a spoon. Mine's hard boiled, but if you're feeling adventurous, you can use a real egg. Um, some balloons, a tennis racket and a tennis ball in case you don't have the egg and spoon or depending on your age range and what's easiest for you. And then so a selection of clothes. So I've got a jumper, a scarf, a hat and a coat, but you could use gloves or whatever it is that you have. So first I'm going to show you how to do some warm-up exercises and we'll also do some stretches just to make sure that we don't hurt ourselves when we're actually doing the Olympics. So first for warm-up exercises we're going to do high knees, jumping jacks and heel flicks and then for stretches we're going to stretch both our arms and legs um, various muscle groups and I'll show you how to do it so you can follow along with me. So we'll start first by stretching just to make sure that we don't hurt ourselves. So I'm going to start by stretching out my arms. So hold your arm like this so you can feel a stretch on this side of your arm and hold that for about 10 seconds. And then swap to the other arm. We'll do these stretches again at the end of the um, activity just to make sure that everything is okay and we're not hurting ourselves. Then let's hold our arm above our head like this. And the same for the other side. Again, for about 10 seconds. If you have any particular area of your body that hurts, make sure to stretch that or just avoid doing any exercises that might make any injuries any worse. Now I'm going to stretch my legs. So I'm going to point my toes up to the sky, lean back a little bit so you can feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Same on the other side. And then I'm going to reach down and touch my toes as far as I can. Now that we stretch, we can do some warm up exercises. So I'm going to start by doing 10 jumping jacks. And then high knees, again, counting to 10. And then heel flicks, also counting to 10. And then if you want to go for a little run around your garden or your park as well to get you fully warmed up, then that'd be good. But I'm warm enough already. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do is kind of like a long jump. So there's different variations of how you can do this. As you can see, I've set up a tape measure here on the floor to measure my jump. And you can either do a run up and a jump or you can do a double legged jump, just whatever you feel most comfortable with and depending on your age. So then you can measure your, your jump and then compare it to the other people that you're doing it with. So first I'm going to run up and jump and then I'll do a two legged jump. That is about two metres. And now I'll do a two leg jump just from the spot, jumping with two legs. That's about a metre and a half. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to do a paper aeroplane throwing competition. So we use the same tape measure as before. So I'm just going to make a paper plane and um, I'll show you how I'll do that first. And you can decorate yours if you'd like as well. I'm not going to because it's only me throwing it today. But that might be quite a fun activity to do with your family or with your friends. 
and maybe you could put something barracuda related on it like some fish or you could draw billy whatever you fancy so this is how i fold my paper airplanes but everyone has a different style of doing it so depends which one you think's best personally i think these ones go the furthest if you find it difficult to make a paper airplane you can always ask one of your parents or a sibling or a friend to help you do it but anyway this is my paper airplane so let's see how far it goes oh probably yeah <laughs> Um, that's only about one meter so better still see if you can beat me or you might even be able to throw it longer than the actual tape measure next we're gonna do kind of like a relay style but you start we're gonna start from the end of the garden run to the other end and I'm gonna have a pile of clothes there ready waiting for me quickly get dressed as quickly as I can and then run back to the beginning and we'll time it and see whoever can do it the quickest Right, so I'm going to run down there to the pile of clothes and then run all the way back. My glamorous assistant is going to time it for me, so I'll let you know my time at the end. Ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> you were 35 seconds for this next challenge you need a balloon and you have to put it between your legs and run a certain distance and back i'm just going to do the tape measurement back to show you but you can do it however long you want and you can just race your friends there and back If you're a bit younger and you're a bit worried about bursting the balloon or anything, you can do this with a football instead or any sort of ball between your knees if you've got one. For this last challenge, we're going to use a tennis racket and a ball, particularly if you're younger, um, and you just need to balance it on the tennis racket, run to a point, so the end of the garden in my case, and back. Um, I'll show you how to do this one first, and then if once you've mastered this, or if you're a little bit older and you want to give the egg a try, then you can get an egg either hard boiled or not, and do the same thing. And I'll run back. So finally I'm going to show you with an egg and spoon, hopefully I won't drop it, I have hard boiled this egg so if it drops it shouldn't be too bad, but so I've got a sized tablespoon, I'm going to balance it on here, it's already got a crack in it, and I'm just going to, oh. <laughs> takes a lot of concentration. I'm going to try and run back. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully you can do a better job than me. Oh, I'm all hot and sweaty after that. So we're just going to do a warm down to make sure that we don't injure ourselves afterwards. So I'm going to do a few stretches and you can do them along with me. Uh, so we're going to start first by stretching our arms out like this. And you want to hold that for about 10 seconds. And then you want to do the other arm as well. And then you want to stretch your arm behind like this. Hold onto your elbow. Don't push too hard, but you want to be able to feel the stretch. Again for about 10 seconds. And then the other arm. And then we're going to stretch our legs. So if you point up your toes like this, maybe more of an angle, so that you can feel the stretch around the back of your leg. And then again on the other leg. If 
you reach to touch your toes as well. And you should be able to feel the stretch at the back. And yeah, so that's everything that we're going to do today. I hope you try it at home. If you do, like, put any pictures or take any videos and then share them with Barracudas, that would be lovely. Right, bye guys.